Guten Abend alles. Nach heute, wir machen Spätzle für Oktoberfest. Ja? So. Um, I'm not going to speak in German because I can't anymore. But I am actually going to make um, Spätzle today for the Oktoberfest. Um, it's actually very simple. The traditional way to make it is on a board um, that you use an offset spatula, you scrape the dough directly into the pot, and it's really very simple. It's basically a boiled pancake batter, if you want to think of it that way. But I'm going to use a strange little trick that I figured out. Probably not original, but I'm going to use a Ziploc bag. Cut the end off and just uh, squeeze it out in there. And I'll show you how to do this. It's really very, very simple, and it's one of the most delicious noodles that you can make in a soup or in a casserole or in whatever you want. And yes, indeed, I am wearing my lederhosen. <laughs> how often do I get to wear them, right? So I'm going to put some flour into this bowl. I'm actually using einkorn, which is very interesting. I just found this today and I thought, let me see what it's like. I don't know. I'm going to break an egg into that. It was about a cup of flour. And then I'm going to mix some milk into that, a little salt, and a little freshly ground nutmeg. I find that makes the difference. And I like it so much that I'm going to use an excessive amount so that you can actually taste it in there. And I like a lot of pepper too. So I'm going to put in some nice freshly ground pepper. And how you mix this is entirely up to you. You know, I don't see any reason to use a machine, but if you, uh, I don't see any reason to use measurements either. I think you just add these ingredients and I would not use leavening. Sometimes people put beer in or um, baking powder, which makes it taste a little soapy. So I think when you want to make a good dough for spätzle, really just need flour, eggs, milk, and nutmeg. A little salt I added to. And if you see the, the dough that I'm making here, it's really not as thin as pancake batter. You want it to drip a little. You can see that? You want to build up a little bit of the gluten's in there just so it's gonna hold together. And they're kind of misshapen, but they're really beautiful, beautiful as a noodle. That's the perfect texture, actually. And so what I'm gonna do, take my little Ziploc bag, carefully get this dough in there. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that, but let's, uh, let's give it a shot. Let's just pour it. You could, of course, use a pastry bag. It's a much, much better idea, right? But this works fine. And then you don't have to clean it. You don't need a tip or anything like that. No fancy equipment. And I've almost got it all in there. That is just... Perfect. See what I did? So. There's my boiling water, simple as pie. Well, not pie, there's no butter in it, right? Well, you could put butter in there, couldn't you? That would be great. What I'm gonna do is probably put it in soup after, but you could toast it in a pot with butter or in a casserole, add some cheese, add some sausages. Ach, Gott im Himmel. So, that water is a nice simmer. You can. See that? I'm just going to cut this end off. Remember, don't close your Ziploc bag or you won't have a way to squeeze it out of there. Cut off that tip and I'm just going to dribble it in there. That's really all there is to it. If you cut a small opening, you're going to get small noodles. If you cut a big one, you're going to get relatively big ones. But these actually look perfect. I'm just going to give this a stir. And can you see in that pot what's going on now? They've begun to float up immediately. And that is really all there is to it. People say they don't have enough time to make dinner or to make a batch of noodles. I say pie. That <laughs> was easy as pie. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let these cook for just a minute. 
and then I'm going to drain them and I'll come back and I'll show you what they look like in a second. Okay, so those cooked for one minute, literally. That's all it took. I'm going to drain, and in fact, in that time, I cleaned the pots that I used, I threw away the Ziploc bag, I even had a few minutes to yodel. Okay, I'll spare you that, but I'm going to drain these. show you what a gorgeous thing Spätzle can be and I'm gonna go get out a pan I'm gonna cook these in some butter now wait one second okay can you see there my butter is melting beginning to sizzle I'm gonna throw that Spätzle in just stir it around and actually you can serve it at this point as is, right? Let me show you how gorgeous that is. I mean, that food doesn't come more beautiful than that. And then you could add some cheese, you could add cream, you could add some stock and make it a soup. You can do whatever you want, but that is honestly, folks, as good as food gets. Enjoy! Gemütlichkeit, Prost, and a happy um, Oktoberfest.